basis by the AIDS Action Alliance and the Irish Family Planning Association, the programme allows AIDS sufferers to tell their own story. Well, I've written out exactly how I want my funeral and, and everything, and the flowers I want, the music I want, the clothes I want to wear, and what I'd like is to be dressed in well, whatever clothes at the time happens to be my favourite clothes. What I'd wear if I was going out, you know, for an evening, you know, and from my hair done the way I want it, and makeup on and everything, and all my jewellery and my earrings and all and um, whatever music at the time that I really like. really in response to what we felt to be a conspiracy of silence about AIDS in Ireland. We've, we've called it Stories from the Silence, and it refers to that fact. People seem to refuse to acknowledge that AIDS was something that was in Ireland. Everybody seems to seem to see it as a foreign phenomenon, something that happened abroad. We made it to give a voice to the Irish people who have AIDS, and to put a human face on the statistics, and to really hit home the reality that it is something that is present with us today. We want AIDS as a public health threat to be taken seriously in Ireland. We want action on public education. We want more action on education in our schools. And most importantly, we want action on caring for those who have already become infected and those who are going to emerge over the next five years with infection. We have grossly inadequate medical facilities, social welfare facilities and general health and support services for those already infected. People are choosing to leave Ireland to go to London for that care, and I think that's appalling. Stories from the Silence is on RTE 1 tonight at 10 past 10.